Hello, Scorpio. So this will be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Do not force this message to fit. Um, I definitely appreciate all the love and support. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get to the messages and see what message comes through for you guys. Here at 11 Light, Truth and Clarity, what messages do you have for the sign of Scorpio at this time? So many, what messages do you have for the sign of Scorpio at this time? Conclusions are within reach. Someone else had that message. And the end of the tough cycle approaches. Take time to breathe out. So taking time to breathe out means to release uh, toxins. Like when you breathe out, you're releasing toxins that you um, had in. It's like releasing toxins um, from within your body. So there's a sense of releasing toxic energy, removing yourself from toxic energy, putting an end to toxic energy, um, ending toxic relationships. Conclusions are within reach. So, and the end of a tough cycle approaches. So it's very much like endings um, in order for you guys to release toxic energy and so you guys have full moon and capricorn and capricorn is a cardinal sign so that's very much action oriented um taking the lead leadership on the ending that has taken place like something that you guys are seeking conclusions Like you guys are ready to release yourself from this toxic energy. It's been very tough for you. And it's been a repetitive cycle that you feel stuck in. And so you're ready for this to come to an end already. And I'm saying that it's requiring you to take action. Not to sit around and wait for it to happen. So some of you guys, it may be um, if you're looking for getting out of a job that's been making you miserable. So it's like actively applying for new jobs, not waiting for one to just magically appear, but actively like um, touching up your resume, making yourself look really good and actively applying for new jobs. Um, if you're ready to move, relocate taking proactive approaches towards doing so because it's very much this energy of releasing toxic um, energy from within your surrounding from within yourself that you have ingested from within your environment so you guys are coming to the conclusion so you guys will be getting the answers that you need in order to reach the conclusions that you need towards this new beginning. Yeah, because I'm seeing that it's like you guys felt like you've been taken advantage of. I'm not even getting felt like you guys have been getting taken advantage of. It's like overgiven in a certain situation. And I'm getting it's like you guys have been the ones like giving, giving, giving and felt like it's like you're constantly giving in a certain situation while everyone else is just like they're celebrating all that they're taking from you. They're enjoying this. And it's like you're fed up with it. It's like they're coming across like they truly mean well, but then they're they they're taken from you. It's like they don't have good intentions. 
it's like they come across like they want to see you do well they want to see you like they want to celebrate you they want to uplift you but they are really just taken from you taking advantage of you I'm saying it's like you guys are being very practical about a certain situation. It's like a lot of stability within your energy. It's like wising up regarding a particular situation. Um, charging forward too. It's like you guys have like through the experience you have gained um, or through through your experience, you have gained a lot of wisdom and you have become very patient and tolerant with a lot of people, um, a lot of things that you have to deal with. But you're also very stern as well. Some of you guys will be leaving a particular situation from dealing with people who were giving you the bare minimum, taking advantage of you, um, to celebrating being celebrated and celebrating being around people who uplift you it's like people who are taken away from you people who are you know not in a situation where it was like you were over given in the situation to now you're around people who you work well with these people. You're having a good time with them. It's like a lot of celebrating, a lot of joyous energy. It's like things are going really well. It's a lot of stability. Some of you guys is a particular person. Some of you guys will be celebrating with friends because over a relationship that's coming in for you as well. Yeah, because you used to deal with someone that was emotionally manipulating you, that was taking advantage of you, and now you have someone that's leading towards a long-term commitment, offering you a lot of stability, Someone who's very patient and kind, caring. This person is also a little shy as well when it comes to you because like they have like, they find you very attractive. It's like they don't really know how to take you. They don't really know how to proceed towards you. And they're not an emotional person, so it's like they're not, they don't do well with dealing with their emotions. Let's see what this is about. to have people fighting for your affection. But I'm also getting, it's like, you guys also, you guys, I'm picking up, you guys like kind of thrive off of that, at least you used to. Maybe you guys are learning to settle down, but I'm also picking up that you guys also like to thrive off of that um, type of relationship where it's a little fiery. You like a little fire in your in your re, re, your relationship. But I'm getting that you guys are learning to ground yourself. You're learning like, you know, to be more realistic when it comes to your relationships and what's healthy and what's not healthy when it comes to a relationship. Um, because someone is like, you're learning to be more honest with yourself about your emotions, 
to communicate better when it comes to um, someone that you guys are interested in. I'm also getting, it's, it's like being more realistic because some of you guys have dealt with the wrong type of people in the past. It's like you guys were honest about the way you felt, but then you were dealing with the wrong type of people, the person who, you know, they played you like a fool, basically. They took advantage of you. This was someone who they didn't want to be tied down. But now you're dealing with someone who does want long-term commitment. Someone who is, I mean, they're grounded. They want to provide stability. They want to provide um, security for you. It's like they have everything that they need but love. And, oh, yeah. And they're willing to fight for this commitment. Oh, yeah. This is someone who wants a... Uh, like they want to offer you marriage. This is someone who is very passionate about you. You have the three of pentacles here. So and also, so you have the three of pentacles in reverse and also so there's a lack of progress and there's also a lack of, it's like you guys don't know much about each other and there's a lack of progress as well. And the lack of progress is like, both of you guys could feel like neither one of you are putting much effort towards this, towards moving this relationship in the right direction and it's causing a little frustration it's like things are moving slow. Don't really know quite where it's leading. Some of you guys, this could be a work relationship, somebody that you met at work. But it, it's, I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not a toxic relationship. And you also have the chariot in reverse here. So it's like definitely a sense of frustration. Um, because oh, it's like the frustration is coming from a lack of direction. It's like not knowing where things are headed. So I'm getting that it's like your person's concern is like they wanted to make sure that They know that you're not a toxic person or they're trying to figure out, but I'm getting that they know. They want to know for sure. I'm getting that they will know for sure. Um, but they're like the frustration. It's just like the lack of direction, not knowing where this relationship is going. All right. What else do we have here? So I'm seeing that you guys are healing from a painful ending, something It's like you're struggling, you're struggling to release, yeah, and then as you're struggling to release this person from your past, you're healing from someone from the past. And as you're trying to heal and release this person from the past, it already is like you did not get the closure that you needed from this relationship. So that's why you guys were struggling to release this person in, in the beginning. And it's like now you guys are healing 
It was like, it was just like a sudden ending. This person just left, you know, without any rhyme or reason. Then they return. But guess what? If you guys allow this, I'm not, you guys will not see this coming. You guys are, are not seeing this person coming. I mean, this person, it's like the ultimate betrayal. Like this person stabbed you in the back multiple of times. And they're coming back. It's like they're coming seeking closure. I'm getting it's like turning your world upside down. Every time they come back around. Stabbed you in the back multiple of times. You guys are not seeing this person coming because you guys are so focused on... It's like things are going so well in your life. You guys are not focused on really anything else except for just balancing things out in your life. It's like you guys are just really happy. Things are going very well in your life. You're not tripping off of anything, anyone, but just doing well and what you need to be focused on. And as you're focused on yourself and what you should be focused on, you're healing, boom, this person comes back around. But this is the type of person, it's like, if you were to give them another try, which I'm getting that you guys are not even thinking about giving this person another try because you don't share the same values as this person. And this person is the type of person, they literally try to demoralize you. They try to tear down your self-worth. They try to tear apart your self-esteem. It's like they did not want you to feel confident about yourself. It took you so long to overcome this situation. It's like no way would you ever accept the offer that this person has to give you. It's like what decision is there to make? Like what is there to debate about? It's like I know exactly I don't want this person back in my life. I don't even know why they would think that they stood a chance. This is very much an immature energy, very much toxic. So this is you, Scorpio. It's like you have your guard up and it's like, um, it's, it's like, this is just talking about this person returning. I don't know why it keeps bringing this person back up. I guess it's just. It's because it's going to be some conflict here. But it's saying, like, you having to, like, stand your ground. Like, you having to, like, basically do what you need to to um, come out on top regarding the situation. And... Because this person is coming like guns blazing. Like they do not have good intentions, but you're well aware of that. Like you just weren't expecting this person to come back because it's like you thought that this was done and over with. Like you are not, you mourned this situation a long time ago. It's like you were not expecting this to come back around. It's like... This is something that you are not invested in. And it's like you were not expecting it to come back around at all. You, I mean, you've been more in this situation. It's over and done with. But this person, it's like they are like 
heartbroken. It's, it's like, they're like in this process of reflecting back on you all's relationship and they're feeling very conflicted. They're not able to release you. And it's like, they're trying to heal. And in order to heal, they want to come back and have a conversation with you to set things straight. But you're gonna send them packing. It's like, you're not willing to have a conversation with them. Some of you guys, there's gonna be like some type of like third party revealed, but it's like, you guys are like, look, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for it. I've been over this situation. Go cry me a river. I do not care. I'm over this. I mean, you guys don't even care to hear about it. Yeah, it's like, there's no love. Something that's definitely going to be exposed. I'm seeing like this person having like an emotional meltdown. Like not even meltdown, but explosion. Like. Not even being able to contain their emotions. It's like they have no control over their emotions. So you have for Scorpio. Yeah, this person is like they're in despair. It's like they they're going broke financially. It's like they're coming to you because it's like they're at a loss at this point in their life, and you're in this high priestess and high empress mode. You have healed and moved on. You have released the situation. This person is coming back because they are desperate. They don't have, it's like, it's like this connection. Some of you guys, it's like the past person is them and you, you disconnected from them and like their mother, them and it's like, you have to disconnect from them and like their family is, Yeah, some of you guys could be mourning. It's like, so death, like mourning a death, but it's like having to disconnect um, from this person. And it's like, the only reason why this person is coming back is because they're going broke. I'm saying it's like, things are not going well in this person's life. I mean, with the five of pentacles here, a lot of times this talks about financial losses. They, This person has made bad investments. Um, they're not wise. <laughs> I mean, and they don't have anyone else to rely on. And they're like, oh, let me go to Scorpio. They they have always been there for me. I'm pretty sure they'll be there for me. Yeah, because I need someone to uh, rely on. I need, I need healing. Let me go to Scorpio because they've always been loving and nurturing and providing and caring. And um, narcissists always run to empaths when they need help and they think they can manipulate um, empaths all the time because when they need some healing and they think that they can, but you guys have been through this healing period where you had to isolate yourself and you had to go within and the universe took this time to rise you guys to the high priestess energy where you guys have this ability to seek um guidance from the universe the universe anytime that you need to include in this situation so when this person comes back and they think that they're going to take advantage of your loving caring nurturing um personality they don't know that you have the intuition to pull out the queen of swords on their ass and send them um packing and along their way you don't care about them crying about anything cry me a ripper because I've been released this situation. I don't plan on investing in this situation at all. It's nothing that's gonna come about from this. 
except for bad luck and bad fortune. So the situation is dead and over with. Goodbye. Now, you do have an emperor here. The King of Pentacles is the same person as the Emperor. That's going to offer you the Four of Wands. A place where you feel loved and welcomed and sheltered and protected. A passionate new beginning. Someone with big energy, if you get what I'm saying. Let's see what messages do we have here. Not one, not someone who keeps coming up short. What messages do we have here? have children and playfulness so and heart-to-heart -heart conversations so it's definitely like someone where it's just like this person that is like you guys will be connecting with there's very much like this innocence um within this person but this is someone where it's like you have a true companionship with this person so this is definitely like a true love a true uh, a soulmate connection but someone who allows you to have like this sense of feeling free um, like a sense of the, of like being able to feel free to be yourself, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And you guys have children right next to it. So it's like when you guys are with each other, you feel safe and free to be yourself. It's like this person heals like the inner child within you because they offer you a lot of stability um, and a lot of nurturing love as well. Some of you guys could have known this person as a child and you're reconnecting with them, but it's like a lot of deep connections, like getting to know each other Definitely divinely guided. Some of you guys um, have children as well. But I'm very much getting it's like the sense of it's like this person allows you to feel free to express yourself. Um, you feel safe to be who you are because you know that this person has your best interests at heart. And they uh, provide like a very safe and stable environment for you. One that you haven't had, um, if ever. So something very new and good for you, Scorpio. So these are the messages that came through for you. If this reading resonates, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you. Thank you.